Drivers in North Hector County have some new traffic signals to watch out for. Traffic lights at the intersection of U.S. Highway 385 and Loop 338 are now up and running. ABC Bay 2's Mike Mahoney spoke with DPS about how those lights will make the roads safer. And they also asked local commuters about what they think of the change at the intersection. The new traffic signals at the Loop 338 U.S. 385 intersection are part of a new overpass project, and DPS says these safety features will go a long way when it comes to preventing crashes. But they also say those lights are no reason for drivers to let down their guard. Adding those traffic lights there is a huge safety factor that increases the safety of the roadway, but once again, the motorists have to obey those traffic lights. Sergeant Stephen Blanco with DPS says the rural parts of the county are notorious for speedsters and that their dangerous behavior is caught lives. We're seeing a lot of accidents or excuse me crashes at those uh, those intersections due to motors not following uh, the traffic laws. That's why Sergeant Blanco is applauding the new lights but also cautioning local drivers. Before you enter the intersection the light turns green make sure that, uh, that no one's coming through there at the last second trying to trying to beat that red light you know drive defensively and make sure the other vehicles are stopping. Hector County commuters who pass that intersection had mixed opinions about the new lights. People are going to see the lights from a lot farther away so there's less of a chance of people not seeing it and running it. For many, many years in the past, we had a lot of fatalities, a lot of incidents, very bad. And when they did this, engineered that bridge and everything, and lights for the safety of everybody, it uh, I think it's, it was the greatest thing they ever did here in the North Odessa. I think they're unnecessary. I, I watch people blow them every day and just go right through it. So, I mean, I think you still going to have the same outcome. Now, you may have noticed that in our footage that the lights were flashing red and functioning as stop signs. A maintenance worker informed me that they had experienced a temporary glitch earlier today, but the lights should now be fully operational. In studio, Mike Mahoney, ABC Big 2 News.